Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step of how you can apply for the CRB benefits. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing is for you to look into your um, Canada Revenue, Revenue Agency account. Okay, and when you log in, it takes you to this um, page. Now here we are. Okay, I can see COVID support payment. If you have applied, uh, if you have applied, it will let you know. So the government of Canada is providing uh, support for individuals who have experienced financial hardship due to COVID. Okay, by applying, you are giving consent to the Canada Revenue Agency to your to use your tax information for the purpose of administering or enforcing these payments and are agreeing that the information that your information including tax and address information may be shared with employment and social development canada and provincial and territory government okay so um now you come over here and you say apply to apply for canada recovery benefit now it, it, it here you will see if you have received a payment you are no longer eligible for eligible for you may make a payment to cra by selecting the proceed to pay button under the covid support application details on this over okay that's not what we're looking for if you are signed up to receive email not notification from cra you will receive an email in confirmation once you have completed your application okay to register to receive email notification or to update your email address on file go to email address service this is not what we want right, here we okay select the situation that best applies to you due to the reason related to covid 19. you are unable to work because your child under under 12 years or family member is requiring supervision care requiring supervised care is unable to attend their school or regular care facility due to covid 19. apply for the canada recovery care giving benefit you are unable to work because you are sick must self-isolate or quarantine apply for the canada recovery sickness benefit you lost some of you some or all of your employment or self-employment income for a reason not listed above and you are not eligible for employment insurance benefits okay uh apply for canada recovery benefits so they give they have given us all the information we need so based on this you will choose the one that is best applicable to you well for me i don't qualify for all these benefits i'll just click on um any of these i still have my job i'm grateful to god about that so click anyone that that you know is applicable to you you go next oh wow next then it comes to this page okay in this page important eligibility information it's very important that you read all this information so you know what you're getting yourself into okay so the canada recovery benefit is for individuals who do not qualify for employment insurance so guys if you do not qualify for employment insurance this is where you should be but if you qualify for employment insurance there is no need coming here okay so um but you have end you didn't qualify for employment insurance and you have earned 500,000 in employment or self-employment in the year 2029, 2020 or in the last month preceding your first application. Employment income does not include social assistance payments, family support or a security Canada pension plan that is the CPP or Quebec pension plan. Okay. I'm sure if you if you qualify for employment insurance, the employment insurance EI program has expanded. For more information, visit their website. I also made a video about that. I'm going to link it somewhere. Okay. Now go select all the eligibility criteria that apply to you for the two weeks period for which you are applying for. So you're going to apply for two weeks period, you know, at a time. Okay. Now you are, you, you, you're a resident. No, you are a resident and press you. What? You are. Oh, sorry. You were resident and present in Canada. Okay. You are at least 15 years of age on the first day of your of the period. You have a valid social insurance number. You earn a minimum of this in this year, 2019, 2020, and the rest of that. You have 
not quit your job or stop working you know voluntarily since september 27 2020 unless unreasonable to do so you were you were seeking employment or self-employment you have not rejected any reason, reasonable offer rejected a requested a request to resume work or fail to resume self-employment where it is reasonable to do so you do not place unreasonable restriction on your availability to work unless you were participating or training opportunity you were referred to by uh by a government by a province or territory so even though you are you know having some training if you are not being required to train you know by a province or a territory then um that's another problem okay you were not eligible to apply for ei okay you click on this you were not receiving the canada recovery see this is the thing you were not receiving the canada recovery caregiving benefit the canada recovery sickness benefit short-term disability benefit workers compensation and any employment benefit or quebec pension plan QIP IP benefit. So this is the thing. You can be use, you receiving CRB and also want to receive caregiving benefit and also want to receive these other benefits. Pay attention to that, okay? And you click on that if that's applicable to you. So I'm clicking all these things. That is, you have to click all this if it only applies to you. If some of them does not apply to you, you don't have to do that, okay? Now select the option that best describe you. You stop working for reason of COVID. You have you have had a reduced hour at least 50 percent your employment employment income or self-employment income for reason related to covid well i'll just choose anyone just using this for example and then eligibility period now you have to come down here and see uh they talk about tax information the canada recovery benefit program is taxable benefit okay you are entitled to 500 per week you know delivered as a single payment for two weeks period please note that 10 percent of your crb will be withheld upfront for tax purposes as a result you are expected to have 450 hundred dollars uh, in a selected period so potential repayment benefit you are allowed to earn employment and self-employment income while receiving crb okay however when you file your 2020 tax income return you will be required to repay 0.5 cents that's 50 cents of the crb for every dollar of the net income received in 2020 over 38,000, excluding payment of crb itself now select the period we have only one period right here all you have to do is to click here and you go to next now period selected these to these i certify for the two weeks period I am, I am a resident and present in Canada. I was at least, you know, you have to confirm that everything you've ticked is what it is. Then you come here, I meet all the requirements set out above and I understand that I must repay any payment to which I am not entitled. Okay? The three RB, listen to this, the CRA may request additional information for the purpose of validating your eligibility. For the benefit if you are if you're later found to be ineligible you will be required to pay back the full amount received for the period in addition penalties will be added in case where serious fraud has occurred so you guys should pay attention to this this is very very important and last step you have to click next I don't want to go there because I'm not applying because I'm, I don't qualify so I'm just going to cut this out here but you click next what you should see is a uh, submit I guess so so guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like share comment and give it a huge like it really helps out this video please so that this you know step by step process will get to those who are still confused about how who are still confused about how they can get through applying for their benefits see you guys in my next video